Hello, today's NICU nugget is about widened pulse pressures. So what is a widened pulse pressure? If you take the diastolic blood pressure and double it, and it's still less than the systolic blood pressure, then that's a widened pulse pressure. Or another way of saying that is that the systolic blood pressure is more than double the diastolic blood pressure. So for example, you have a systolic blood pressure of 60 and a diastolic blood pressure of 35 not a widened pulse pressure because you double the 35, 35 plus 35 is 70, which is more than 60. If, however, you have a systolic blood pressure of 50 and a diastolic blood pressure of 20, that is a widened pulse pressure because you double the 20 and you end up with 40, which is less than 50. On exam, very often you can feel a widened pulse pressure by bounding pulses because what you're actually feeling is the difference between the systolic and the diastolic. So if you feel bounding pulses in your baby, then think about, is this a widened pulse pressure? So what do we worry about in the NICU when we do have a widened pulse pressure? The first one, it could be just a normal part of the baby's physiology. The second thing is something that we're always worried about in the NICU, but really, honestly, specifically when the baby has widened pulse pressures, and that is sepsis. And the third one is a PDA. So think about all those things when you see that the systolic blood pressure is more than double the diastolic blood pressure. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe to learn more about stuff in the NICU. Thank you.